గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ రాజేంద్ర కొడమంచిలి వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అన్ అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఫ్రమ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ట్రిబుల్ ఇన్ రామ్చంద్ర కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు గివ్ ఎ లెక్చర్ ఆన్ బూస్ట్ రెగ్యులేటర్ బూస్ట్ రెగ్యులేటర్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద టైప్ ఆఫ్ స్విచ్చింగ్ మోడ్ రెగ్యులేటర్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద రెగ్యులేటర్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ డీసీ టు డీసీ కన్వర్టర్ విచ్ ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ టు కన్వర్ట్ ద అవైలబుల్ ఫిక్స్డ్ డీసీ ఇన్పుట్ వోల్టేజ్ టు వేరేబుల్ డీసీ అవుట్పుట్ వోల్టేజ్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ టు హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ బూస్ట్ రెగ్యులేటర్ హౌ టు సెట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బూస్ట్ రెగ్యులేటర్ మీన్స్ the output voltage is more than the input voltage is called as boost regulator so this is having a circuit diagram the circuit diagram it is having a inductor and the switch and diode and load here when the input voltage is dc here the output voltage also be dc here the output voltage is measured across the load so coming into here the switch means based on the applications here we are divided uh, there are three types of applications are there the first one so the low power applications number two medium power applications number three high power applications based on the applications here we are using different types of switching devices for low power applications here we have to prefer uh, mosfet and medium power applications here we have to prefer igbt and high power applications here we have to prefer gtos so based on the applications here we have to divided we are we are considered different types of switching devices so as per our simplification here we can consider whatever the whatever the switching device is there here we have to consider a simple switch right now the total operation can be divided into two modes number one when the switching device is on number two when the switching device is in off there are two modes of operation is going on so coming into here in this total operation can be divided into two modes mode number 1 the first mode is zero less than t less than t on in this mode when the switch s is on how to on and off of the switch means it purely depending upon inductor current if the inductor current is maximum then the switch is going into turn off if the inductor current is minimum then immediately to turn on the switch so how is going on means then we have to going on so let us consider mode 1 during zero less than t less than t on when the switch is on here we have to apply the gate pulse here then the switch is going into turn on now when the switch is going into turn on it is going into close now the current direction is vs2 l2 switch to here this is the current direction now in this case switch is going into on then the current direction is plus vs to inductor to switch to minus vs in this case what will happen when the switch is going into turn on it is acts as a closed switch then the output voltage measured across the load is zero why because when the load is shorted by the switch then v not value is equal to zero in this case uh, the output voltage is zero here v not equal to zero during this period s is on but in this case what about the current so the current it depending upon the inductance so according to the magnetic property when the inductor starts charging it take the polarity sir plus minus now the inductor current starts from increasing manner from here minimum to maximum here the minimum and maximum value of the current it purely depending upon previous set of values now the current is going into increase in this mode the current is maximum so according to the current limiting control strategy when the current is in maximum then immediately when the gate pulse is removed when the switch is going into turn off otherwise till when the current is maximum till the switch is going into turn on the device is going into davis and coming into here when the current is maximum then immediately remove the gate pulse then the second mode is called as mode 2 t on less than t less than t in this mode when the current is going into maximum then immediately to remove the gate pulse then the switch is going into turn off then in this mode this is called as s is off the switch mode is off in this case what will happen 
up to till now first mode the inductors are charging right now the inductor is acts as a source according to the magnetic property of inductance the amount of energy is delivered from the inductor to the load the polarity becomes to reverse now the polarities are plus minus so when the, according to magnetic property of inductance when the amount of energy is taken from the source the polarity is plus minus according to the magnetic property when the inductor starts discharging the polarity becomes to reverse minus plus now the second mode the inductor is acts as a source now it starts from discharging from inductor to now in this case the switch is going into off now the inductor discharging from here l2 diode to load load to here source this is a source to the second mode so in this case inductor to plus inductor to and diode is conducted and load that is uh, the voltage is plus v not the voltage is appear across the load plus v not and supply voltage and minus l this one is the current direction in this mode what will happen what about the output voltage across the load is same as supply voltage here v not is equal to vs and here coming into here the output is same as input in this mode now we can consider v not equal to vs when s is off now in this mode what will happen when the inductor current starts from maximum to minimum now according to the current control strategy when the current is minimum then immediately to turn on the switch otherwise till we are continue to turn off the switch it will take much more time to turn on so this con this control strategy is called as current limiting control strategy now after that what will happen here the total period is completed after t the cycle is repeated so the total operation is t can be divided into two modes during the first mode when switch is on during second mode when the switch is off and coming into here the second mode the same cycle is repeated in this case the same s is on the current is going into rages in this case gate pulse is removed now the output is same as input s is off now the current is going into degrees so this is called as a boost regulator basically as we all know that the transformer which is used to step up or step down the available supply voltage but without using a transformer the voltage is step up with the help of a single switch so that's why the efficiency is very high that is the most important point coming into here the basic derivation part is v not is equal to vs by 1 minus del v not means output voltage vs means input voltage del means duty cycle so coming into here the duty cycle value vary from del value vary from 0 to 1 only now when del equal to 0 when del equal to 0 the total output voltage v not is equal to vs by 1 1 so that is v not is equal to vs when del equal to 1 del equal to 1 v not is equal to vs by 1 minus 0 that is called as infinity so the my point of conclusion is the boost regulator means whatever the available input voltage is there this input available voltage is step up to the required output voltage so required output voltage means when del is 0 we are getting the minimum output voltage is same as input when del value will change as maximum one we are finally we are getting the infinite output voltage so thank you for watching